This is the Richard and Judy Book Club, exclusively with W.H. Smith. And the book we're going to talk about here now is The Particular Sadness of Lemon Cake by Amy Bender. What a title, The Particular Sadness of Lemon Cake. The concept that underpins this book is one of the most unusual either of us have, have ever read. It's never even occurred to me before in my wildest imagination. It's quite simple. A little girl called Rose discovers one day that she can taste the emotion in food of the person that prepared it. It happens to her one day before her birthday. Uh, she bites into a slice of lemon cake, lemon chocolate cake actually, that her mother's made for her, and instantly her brain picks up an unmistakable signal of sadness and despair. And she knows in that moment that her mother, who has a very sunny, smiling face to the world, a can-do attitude, is in fact miserable. She's miserable in her marriage to Rose's father. And from that discovery, that, that, that instantaneous change in her life, comes all sorts of things. She finds she can, she can discover the emotions of a factory worker who was making processed cheese 500 miles away. Um, the emotions of the dairyman who milked a cow. The emotions of somebody who made the equivalent of a, of a Cornish pasty. Sometimes they're happy, sometimes they're furious, sometimes they're in despair, but she knows. And Imagine growing up like that. Imagine knowing all the secrets of your family. If your brother makes you toast and you bite into it, you know what he's thinking. You know what he's going through. If your father makes you a quick stir-fry, you know exactly what his emotional state is. It's a fantastic concept, and it takes Rose on an extraordinary journey going through the years. Um, very, very unusual book, and unfortunately the author can't be with us. Uh, she's in America, but we had a few fairly pertinent questions to put to her about this incredible concept. So I have a friend who often talks about feelings, uh, digesting feelings. So she'll be saying, oh, I had a really rough lunch the other day and I'm still digesting it. But not the lunch itself, but the, the person that she was with, maybe something strange happened. Or she'll say she's metabolizing an experience she had with her mother or processing something. And I think without knowing it, I started to make a link, the link that she was making. but. Um, between the world of feelings and the world of food and that there was something she was talking about something moving through her body really that was like eating something but was on the emotional landscape and I think that became a trigger for the book. Um, I do think that siblings are a really great area to write about especially there's something about um, the family that can get revealed in the siblings, right? You get something of the parents in siblings, so it's not just talking about brother and sister, you're also talking about the parents in a way indirectly. Um, and it, what was interesting is I was writing a different novel years ago that was about a brother and a sister, but it was from the point of view of the brother, and it wasn't working, and I worked and worked on it for a while, and then it was only much later, when I had flipped it and was writing it from the sister's point of view, that my editor actually said, I think you're doing a, a drastic rewrite of that original book because there was something about that brother-sister both bond and difference that felt so crucial to me. I, you know, ESP is interesting. As a kid I totally believed in ESP and also was scared at times that I had it and would imagine that I you know, new things that of course I didn't know, or I guess that's more being psychic than ESP. Um, I kind of believe that there are levels of intense sensitivities where people can tune into things that the rest of us can't. But I haven't experienced it directly, and I don't really watch those shows, but when people tell me anecdotes about it, I kind of believe it. Thank you very much indeed, Amy, and I'm so sorry we didn't get the chance to meet you, but hey, maybe, maybe one day. And thanks again for a great story. Uh, if you want to find out more about Amy or about her book, or indeed all of the authors and books in this particular tranche of the Richard and Judy Book Club, you simply go to whsmith.co.uk forward slash Richard and Judy. And thank you for joining us.